Thomas the tank engine was a happy little engine. Sometimes he liked to pull his coaches Annie and Clarabelle around the island of Sodor. Chugga 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 choo choo! Chugga 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 One day he was busy pulling along Annie and Clarabelle on his usual route. And pulled into the station. He collected passengers like a good little engine and then he set off again. Suddenly, he found Diesel 10 blocking his way. Hey, Thomas, you can't go here. Come on, Diesel 10, let me go. I have to deliver passengers. Too bad, Thomas. Hey, why don't you take this detour over here? We can change the points. This will take you to the station. Okay, Diesel 10. But Thomas did not know that the tracks led to some Bodhi's house, and he set off. And he crashed straight into the house. Boom. Sir Topham Hatt arrived at the scene in his car like always due to his inability to walk God, since he is so fat. He surveyed the scene. Thomas was derailed and the door of the house was just gone. Sir Topham Hatt and the owner were very cross. Hey there Thomas, I am the reindeer, the owner of this house. I am very angry that you knocked down my house's door. We shall sue your the train company in court. You hear that, Thomas? Because of you crashing into that thing when by changing the points where you're not supposed to change the points, you have caused the reindeer to file a lawsuit against me to make me lose one million dollars. Whoops, I think I fell down. I'm sorry, sir. Next time I'll be a really useful engine. <laughs> While all this was going on, Diesel 10 was silently laughing, chuckling at himself. And he quietly rolled away, off to cause more trouble on the island of Sodor.